remember when you were small Abby and your mom would be cutting something in the kitchen babe she'd be in the kitchen cutting one thing or the other uh -huh. and then she'll get angry with you for no reason and then she'll now point the knife like this like if I get you like ah, what's going on why are we pointing knives why are we pointing knives no I'm just this is my prop for the day you guys hey everybody welcome to my first ever unboxing video well phone unboxing video <laughs> I've always wanted to do this oh my gosh I'm so excited so I've I haven't had a new phone in like almost five years now and I'm upgrading y'all I'm upgrading from this iPhone 7 plus to an iPhone 11 Pro Max no iPhone 11 Max Pro child I don't know but um it's an iPhone 11 it's the big one and it is 256 gig um a phone unboxing video is something I've been wanting to do for a minute because it's just it just looks I watch everybody else's you know it's just so fun um I am one of those people though like most like every other millennial that's pretty attached to their phones and even in the sense that like I don't like getting rid of my phone that's why I've had the iPhone 7 for so long is because I don't like losing pictures I don't like losing numbers um I also don't really like learning new devices I know that sounds pretty lazy but you know I just don't like it and um until the phone starts giving me issues and problems I don't I just what's the point um so finally the last straw that broke the camel's back was that my dog ate my home button it doesn't work it doesn't work so had to break down an auto phone auto phone chat what are we gonna call her Maybelle there's Maybelle I'm gonna use that to open open this new box of enchantment like I said it's the iPhone 11 I'm gonna let y'all see like which one I got okay I can't I'm, I, I, I got the green one okay okay I almost got the oh it's so pretty it's so pretty I almost got I just like just I just like new stuff okay oh uh, it's so cute is it really this big though i'm scared i really oh my god it's so that's a lot taller than the iphone 7 at least in the box do you guys see that that is ridiculous that's like a whole inch okay let's throw this away no don't throw it away there's something else in there Oh, it's like shipping. No, it's not. It's let's get your new phone ready to use. I might need that. Okay. Throw that away. And here's the phone again. And then here's the tab that you know most Apple products have on them that you can use to open their products. Oh, Ooh, it's such a luxurious experience. Especially when you're not like a new phone person, like you're not the type of person to get a phone every year. Um, I know so many people that have to have the new phone and that's just not me and um, but when I do get a phone I like to get you know whatever is 
this is the newest out you know just so that I can up, be up to date with my tech you know this is by no means a tech channel and yes that is a disclaimer but I will be telling you some of the features that this phone has okay so hold tight oh my goodness it's so beautiful it's quite heavy you know even compared to this one and it has a case on it it's, it's, it's got a little bit more weight to it a little bit you know I can feel that let's see let's look at the size okay so out of the box it's really about the same size but again this has a case on it let me take the case off oh 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 about to break my new oh okay let me calm down this is the iPhone 7 dusty dingy old 7 and this is the iPhone 11 next to each other so really they're about the same about the same size about Maybe the iPhone 11 is just, I don't know. They're both rounded at the corners. I don't know, about the same. So that's the phone. I'm gonna be gentle, okay? And you know, they come with their little Apple stickers. Hello. Um, artifacts. Really excited about this. I think this is the um, quick charging. That's what I'm going to call it. And you know, they always come with headphones. I don't know if the headphones are any better than they used to be. They're usually crap. Um, and the quick charge and lightning cable apparently this is a game changer you don't want to use or i don't even know if you can use the old chargers but the new chargers i've heard it's life i heard it's amazing um just the box here again another thing i'm excited for is um being able to wirelessly charge my phone I've actually had wireless charging capabilities in my car for four years now four or five years now and have never been able to use it because I have an iPhone 7 if I had or 7 plus if I had an iPhone um, if I had an Android I would have been able to use it because Android has been doing that non-cable charging for a really long time now and um, Apple caught on later I don't know if they did it for the 10 but they definitely have it on the 11 and I'm really excited about that I'm really excited about that part of my car and not just being uh, <laughs> just for like random crap you know just like throwing stuff in it all the time I can probably just clean it out now and set my phone in it, in it to charge gentle okay, okay. so I did get 256 gigabytes um, for the storage on this phone I believe that's what I may have on the 7 plus maybe it's 120 something but um, I wanted the 512 which is available in the max in the um, iPhone 11 max pro and it was sold out so I couldn't get it so I had to settle for the 256 um, So I'm going to now talk about some specs of the new iPhone 11 Max Pro. 
as if I have some sort of um, <laughs> technology, real technology insight. Um, yeah. With no further ado, I'll tell you some key specs about the iPhone 11 Pro, All right? Um, so here we have a 12 megapixel camera that comes with this phone, okay? And um, it's got, like I said, an amazing battery, one of the best batteries on the market, right? Can last up to 11 hours or so that's pretty impressive for a phone this size and um, the display itself is 6.5 inches and the RAM on this phone is 4 gigabytes so it can render pretty quickly you can do this use this phone to make your YouTube videos and upload it probably in no time um, because it's able to store and think so quickly, you know? Uh, it does have some special features like a light sensor, a proximity sensor, accelerometer, barometer, and gyroscope. We're not even going to get into all that, okay? Um, <laughs> so yes, quick charging is available. It is an iOS 13 or V13.0. Um, there is a dual SIM card here and it is called the iPhone 11 Pro Max. It was launched in September of 2019. So that's the exact launch date. Okay, so now with at with like most Apple products, the memory is not expandable. Obviously, you can export your um, photos, videos, whatever else you have stored in here into another space or cloud, but um, there's no expanding the memory inside the phone. So I'm gonna try this this out taking off the little save that for last um, and turn it on assuming I even know how to turn it on so I'm just gonna press random buttons until ah, something turned it on amazing Wow everyone say it at the same time one two three Wow, wow. <laughs> Okay, so swipe to open, it says. We're going to do that now. Swipe to open. I'm going to pick English because that's what I speak. And United States because that's where I am. And um, let's set up manually. Um, oh, no. I have to put in my Wi-Fi right now. Got to pause the video. I put in my Wi-Fi password, so we're going to hit next. It may take a few minutes to activate your phone. Your iPhone, I'm sorry. I had a really long day at work today, guys. Hopefully I don't take a nap while this is happening. Oh, it's done. There we go. Okay, data and privacy and all that, you know, jazz. We're going to continue. Face ID. Face ID. Okay, this is exciting. We did not have this on the iPhone 7 Plus. So, we're going to continue. And um, I don't usually have bangs like this all the time. So, I hope this doesn't you know make it hard okay so it says how to set up face ID first position your face in the camera frame then move your head in a circle to show all the angles of your face 
Okay. So. Oh, this is pretty cool. Face ID scan is complete. That's it? I don't know. So someone with my exact face shape could maybe get in my phone. I don't know. Okay, it's doing it again. So maybe it's like different things. Okay, so there's two scans and then it your face ID is set up. All right, I'm going to set up my passcode. Oh. Oh, they want six numbers. Oh, we re so well the camera died and um, my phone was kind of booting up all my cards and Apple Pay and all that stuff was loading. We're just going to continue setting up. It's telling me how to use Apple Pay. I'm not listening. <laughs> I'm not reading everything like I should. Just figure it out as you go. Duh. Now they want me to buy 50 gigabytes of iCloud for 99 cents a month. Not now. No, thank you. And iCloud keychain, key passwords, credit information. You save secure and up to date on the devices you approve, the information is your keychain is encrypted and cannot be read by Apple. This is pretty cool. I believe other iPhones have this though. Um, I don't know if my iPhone 7 really had it because I was never really able to access that. Siri. Siri helps you get things done by asking. Siri can even make suggestions before you ask in apps and keyboard. To use Siri, press and hold the side button and say, hey Siri, anytime, anytime you like. <laughs> uh, improve Siri and dictation. <sighs> this is the share audio recordings thing. So basically whatever you say to Siri, they wanna be able to record it so that they can predict what you'll ask the next time. And I mean, I guess, whatever. I think I said not now on the last phone, so we'll just do it, whatever. And screen time, sure. Kind of helps you know, like, screen time kind of lets you know, like, how long you've been using your phone and what your patterns are, how much screen time you're getting. Um, you know. You need to get off your phone for a couple of days or a couple of hours. Share with app developers by help app developers improve their apps by choosing to share app activity. Okay, so, so this is this is new to me. True tone display. So iPhone automatically adapts to ambient lighting conditions to make color appear consistent in different environments. You can change this later in display and brightness settings. I'm not sure that I set this up in my last phone, but um, obviously you can manually do it. And But I didn't really have to often, so maybe it was doing it automatically and I didn't even know. So we'll continue to do that. Um, I think I generally like a light, light um, appearance. It just depends, you know. So I'm gonna use the standard zoom. I don't want it, you know, super zoomed. Oh, there's like a tutorial here um, showing us how to go home, especially now that we don't have a home button. So it's like a slide up and like to switch between apps. It's like a halfway slide up and kind of to the side. Yeah. So you can see the, so you can see the apps on the, okay. Did you get that? I hope you got that and then hit continue controls. Oh, that's different. 
controls are like this now. Continue. Welcome to iPhone. <laughs> so beautiful. So swipe up to get started. And it's almost like I never left. All my stuff is not all of it, but a lot of my stuff's in there. I've got my news. You know. Pretty cool. Let's see if my text messages are in here. <laughs> Create your memoji. I already have one. iPhone 7 let me make one, but it doesn't have the full capabilities, obviously. I'm going to set it up later. Overall, I'm really happy with this phone. Um, I'm going to be able to take photos um, like never before, apparently. I haven't tried the camera yet, but I'm very excited about that. Taking photos, taking video. Um, I want to try to be conservative with the space that I have in this phone. Um, and not just like take random photos of a lot of stuff and video. Um, so yeah, very, very excited, very happy to have a new phone finally. Uh, it's been a long time coming because this one is just crapping out for, for a better choice of words. It's just not that it, it's just, it just doesn't feel like what, you know, up to date. It doesn't feel up to date. It doesn't feel like, you know, I have the cutting edge technology and this should, you know, I believe, you know, so I'm also very excited about being able to set it down and charge it wirelessly. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's going to save a lot of cord hassle, you know? So excited about that. Um, yeah, photos, videos, charging, the battery life, and those are the things that I'm really excited about for the most part. So I will um, cut it here and um, I hope you guys join me next time for the next unboxing. I'll obviously be letting y'all know how I like this phone, um, especially making new videos later, you know, this month. And I plan to use this phone a little bit. A lot of it actually okay talk to you guys later I hope you've enjoyed this video please like this video please share this video and definitely subscribe I will see you guys next time it's been fun chatting with you bye